Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on survival games. So this is definitely the best survival games plugin in my opinion. It has so many cool features including leaderboards, tiered chests, it's really easy to set up and it's just a fantastic plugin that keeps being updated. I think this is my third video on it as the developer has changed many things and it's just got a lot better. So what we're going to do, we're going to obviously set it up, have a quick game and then look at the config files. So to begin with, let's do SG, that shows us the main commands. And if we do SG admin at the bottom there in red, we will see all of the admin commands, how to set it up. So first of all, you're obviously going to want to get a world, either make one or download one. Pop it into your uh, server folder. And then if we open up the world manager um, help section, we can either back a world up, import one, delete one, create one, teleport one, etc. So let's go ahead and import one. I, uh, I put one in there earlier and it's called SG4. I'll obviously leave a link to that and the plugin in the description below. So that should take a very short amount of time. It's not that big of a world, so that's pretty good. And let's go ahead and teleport to it to make sure it is in fact there. So SG4. And if we teleport here, you can see that uh, the world is here. You may recognize this from um, some servers um, that use this, pretty popular ones, Hypixel maybe, or it might be Mindplex, I'm not sure which one it is, but um, it gets used on big servers. And it's a very cool map. So now that we're here, we are going to actually create uh, the map. So let me just smash into this room. This is going to be our um, sort of lobby area. So let's go ahead and do SG create followed by the name, it's obviously called the SG4, and the min players followed by the max players. As simple as that, hit enter, and it will say creating a backup of the arena world, arena has been created. Once you've done that, you can now add some spawns. So let's fly down here, I'm going to smash four of these, um, which will be our four spawns for the match. So let me just go in here and do SG add spawn. For the arena SG4 like that so one and two number three oh there we go and number four is going to be in here so there's only a couple of things we need to do now which is set the deathmatch spawns if you don't know what that is uh, basically at the end of the game when there's only a few players left they are teleported to wherever the deathmatch area is it could be an arena it could be at the spawn points here and they fight to the death to find out who the winner is so let's go ahead and do sg add deathmatch uh, if i can spell it correctly for sg4 I'd recommend about two, three, maybe four um, spawn points depending on how many players you have in your arena. You can also set a global um, deathmatch if you have bungee mode on. So um, I doubt this will work um, because I don't have it on and obviously SG4 is using this world. So we are going to teleport back using the world um, manager. So world SG world manager TP to world. And this is going to be where our lobby is going to be. So SG um, set global lobby for this world. So lobby, if I can spell it correctly. There we go. So we've set the global lobby. We've set up our arenas. We can now make some signs before we have a little place. So I'm going to grab a few signs here and some just skull blocks and some skulls as well. So let me find them. Here they are. So I'm going to place a few here, pop some heads on, and what we can do, we can make a really awesome leaderboard uh, using the skulls. So if you're, say, top in kills or wins, your head will be on there. So Donald Duck would be on there uh, when we play a game, obviously. So you can do SG, top, then uh, whatever uh, you want. So kills, wins, deaths, all of that good stuff. So let's just go with kills, and which place. So first, second, third, fourth, depending on how big you want your leaderboard to be. So there is no player here at the moment, so it's just a uh, skeleton. So let's make a couple more. SG top for deaths. It's probably best not to be top in this one, but uh, you might be. And you can also do SG top. Uh, let's see. Losses. Is that going to be one? That's incorrect. So uh, make sure you do them properly. Let's just do wins. It's probably easier. Top wins for second 
and there we go we don't need any more there are some other signs which we're going to create so we just make a small little wall here we can make the stats sign so SG stats and when a player right clicks this it will show all of these cool information time played the modifier and uh, that reminds me you can actually change a player's modifier which is pretty cool so SG set modifier and this modifies how many coins you get so for myself I might get 10 times the amount of coins so if you had maybe a special player on donators that sort of thing you could change the modifier so they get more points so they can buy kits and um, various items like that uh, so I'll show you that in a bit when we go in game but now let's carry on with the signs there is the auto join sign which is pretty useful for big servers we have the standard join sign as well which obviously joins whatever arena you have made like that and the block goes green obviously uh, when you can actually join it which is really really cool so the game is going to be starting in 20 seconds if we have a quick look at all these items we have the survival games book we have the leave item we have the shop where we can obviously buy various different things so I've bought some TNT and let's buy uh, maybe a golden apple as well and we have kits as well so these are my kits that I have at the moment and in eight seconds we're going to start so I better be quick here is um, kits that you can purchase and VIP kits there we go did it in the correct amount of time so as you can see I've got the items that I purchased uh, which is obviously the golden apple and TNT in the chests there are various items that spawn you can obviously change these in the configuration files and my other account is over there spawned in the correct place so uh, that is very awesome so let me grab a few of these we don't have any tier 2 chests which are ender chests uh, but you could obviously put those down and you would be getting presumably better items from those um, so let me just find some arrows that's good and the cool thing about the TNT is you don't need any red <laughs> redstone to uh, ignite it and it has a very short fuse as I found out so uh, you better better run as soon as you uh, place it down which is pretty good otherwise uh, players would just run away from it and it would be pretty useless useless to be honest so um, let me pop a couple down to see if I can kill him nope we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way with uh, an arrow to the knee uh, actually that actually hit him in his knee I uh, didn't even mean to do that so the game will end in 19 minutes obviously you can change that and I won so you can actually put an image on this map um, you, in the config files we have a very awesome message there with lots of colors and lots of formatting which I really like I got plus 10 coins times 10 and that's why I have 1400 coins at the moment so uh, there we go 1460 um, for winning and for the kills and all of that good stuff I've just joined the game again after enabling the map um, image so as you can see we do in fact have an image on the map it's a cake so you can put anything on there you could put your server logo you could put a cake as the cakes here or you could put a dank meme whatever you want so let's go ahead and go into our server folder as you can see this is the map if you have any more maps just pop them in here and just import them as I showed you at the start of the video let's go into plugins and then survival games as you can see there are eight YML files and your arena file which has your backup and your arena data so in here this has various things like spawn points and uh, the game time the grace time you can change all of this whether it's enabled or not the lobby time so I'd probably um, reduce these two to maybe 10 to 20 seconds and obviously reduce the game time from 20 minutes because that's quite long so uh, that is very straightforward let's go back into the main folder and see what we can edit so let's start at the top in here we have all of the items so we have um, the normal chest we have the care package and the tier 2 chest so um, the care package is an item you can get and obviously when you pop that down you will get um, some of these so it's very easy to add um, add an item so it's probably easier if you just copy and paste one of the existing ones and then edit it so uh, obviously change the ID to whatever you want so 122 that is something and then you can put the enchantment if you really want to and you can change the strength of it so damage all one and that second um, number is the amount so you can obviously change that which is really cool 
If you want metadata, you could put a colon here and obviously put metadata there, but uh, it's not necessary unless you have potions or maybe those new type of arrows. Um, so that is pretty straightforward. The chest file, let's go into the config file, which has a lot in. Look at all of this. So we have achievements here when you get um, various wins, you get more points. We have the global lobby set. We have titles, so if you have title manager, I don't have it, but if you do, you will get these when you join a game, win, death, start, all of that good stuff. At the top, uh, you may see here, this is the image URL. Um, I made sure that was true, it was false to begin with, and when I turned it true, obviously you saw the cake. Uh, the tier 2 chest ID is obviously 130, which is ender chest. We have the starting coins, the shop inventory size, so you can add more to it, winning fireworks, time, all various things you could change um, if you want to customize it, which is very cool. And then we have various things to do with uh, the items as well as um, the kit menu. So that is pretty straightforward that you can change all of those. Let's go into kits, which I show you very quickly uh, during the countdown. We have all of these. These two are the ones we got by default and you can make them buyable. So let's just go ahead and create a brand new one. Obviously it's best to copy and paste it. Um, just makes it a lot easier. You can change the name, so let's call it Whitey. Let's give it um, a permission. Buyable is going to be true. Let's put a price. Um, so the price is going to be, I don't know, a thousand. If you have the permission enabled, you could put it in a donator kit or some, a donator uh, rank, sorry. We have the item ID, so uh, you can just put a diamond block there, which is 56, possibly, or 50, I think it's 57. Then you can change the armor, the description, potion effects, and the items in it. So the same way we did the items in the chest, you can put the item, cool on any metadata, and then the amount at the end. So that is pretty straightforward. Messages, I wouldn't suggest messing around with this, but you can if you really want to. We have players, which is just save data of the players. You can cheat if you want to, and you can see your modifier. And this <laughs> this video is gonna take me about five hours to upload, but uh, I'm trying to uh, hurry up. Here is the shop of various things that you can buy. So as you can see at the top, it shows the usage. Some, uh, I remember I did a plugin a few months ago and it didn't actually tell you how to use it and it was in German it was very very confusing but luckily we have the item ID the amount the price so obviously we have 262 which is a bow no it's arrows it's 261 is a bow um, the amount so one bow for 20 points very very straightforward the signs you could edit this if you really wanted to uh, it's various colors and where they are in the world so that is cool. And finally the sponsor, which uh, has various different categories. You could create a brand new one, change the item and what items are inside, which is cool. And then you can add um, enchantments, names, like that. So you could just copy this as a baseline and that would work like that. You don't even need underscores there. So that is all the config files very straightforward you just change all the values you want and uh, hopefully it should work very well for you so it is a premium plugin you do need to create an account in order to buy it and before this video gets any longer subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time